This is our Head Captain Yamamoto build. Bleach anime character theme build. It's been a while since I've done one of these. It's been a while since I've actually played Elden Ring, but I'm trying to get back into it. You know, we all know that DLC is right around the corner, and I'm trying to see if we can get something ready for it. And at the same time, you guys know I like to do themed, aesthetically pleasing looking builds, right? So we, we're just not playing the game as a regular person, as you guys can see, like we're wearing armor, but we have the whole head Captain Yamamoto bleach build themed down. Like this has got to be one of the most epic on point theme builds appearance wise that I've done. And of course we got to make it practical as well, right? So as you guys can see, I mean, you guys can see it, right? Like he's, he's literally, he's on fire, right? He's, he's on fire. Like he's, this is the fire of God, right? If you know the, if you know the anime, if you know the show, but let's get right into it. So I wanted to go over this build and if you guys want to use it, test it out for yourselves, you can feel free to do it. Just make sure that you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you're new, right? So let's get straight into it. So as you guys can see, I'm going to go over the whole appearance with you guys right now. So you can just get it down to the T starting from the appearance, right? So let's start with that. And let's go straight into here and just details and let's see what we can start with first. So, I mean, age, definitely. Um, it took me a while to get this down too. So I got the mature voice one, the skin color. I got like a whole R RBG color going here. I don't even know if, um, can I show that by just in the color? All right, there it is. All right, so for the red, we have 204, green, 151, blue, 120. Make sure you guys copy that. All right. Alter the face. Now, it took me a long time to, like, reconstructure his face. And it, you know, he's, like, really old <laughs> and skinny and bony. But at the same time, you know, he is muscular and, you know, he's, he's kind of built. So, let's just go over everything that we have here. We got the scar. You know, they actually had the scar to the face, which is crazy. All right. So, bone structure, six. All right. Form emphasis, 30. Apparent age, 70 facial aesthetic eight all right facial structure facial balance like i literally changed every detail to get him to look like this so it's a it's a super customized build right so no one has this build and you guys are seeing it here first and i did i didn't copy this off of anybody so i just came up with this by myself you know based off the previous builds that i made from bleach ichigo um you know toshiro and uh, so on and so on but uh, here we go nose 105 as you guys can see forehead 165 all right 152 255 200 175 there just to make this a little bit quicker here we have starting from the forehead depth we have 215 159 112 154 160 if you guys need to you can slow this down you guys can pause to get it correctly all right here we have starting from the brow we have 210, 135, 72. Eyes, we have 89, 80, 242, 134. Nose, we have 115, 185, 18, 80, 70, 255, 255. Literally changing everything, man. And um, it, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hard to really like describe how, how long it took me to do this. All right, starting from here, we have 100. 60 154 cheeks we have 125 100 0, 0, 60 all right lips 189 142 72 28 35 0 mouth 160 30 126 120 113 175 all right chin 245 255 113 142 255 141 170 all right, next and last for this category, 142, 177, 136, and 62, right? So that's that here. Of course, number one, bald hair color. We have it here. And I guess if you guys want the RGB, it's 121, 105, 86, which it doesn't matter because he's bald, right? All right, <laughs> luster 98, 0, 60. All right, eyebrows, we have nine color here just white uh let's just check out the rbg the rgb um right there 255 255 255 just straight white all right old man old guy all right match here match here match here 
facial hair beard three now this is like one of the only things that i couldn't get as close as possible because they just didn't have any beard that was longer than this um i did have an alternative way to try to get the beard you know like he has a really long goatee um uh, which was me using some type of mask that i found in the game but it just wasn't giving the same vibes as as this right here right so it wasn't the same beard color white match hair match hair match hair 120 stubble it, that didn't really matter but it felt like it did to some degree i don't know why but you know there we we have that eyelashes three white once again you know he's just an old dude with all white gray hair eyes now the eyes it did look a little i don't know i want to say more realistic for sure when his his pupils were shown and all of that but you know we kind of just went with the whole like he's black and now godly look like you know what i'm saying like he's in fight mode so you know i thought it would look a little bit cooler just to have you know the color of his eyes just all white so here we have 255 all white 255 all white 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 all right just matching 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 nothing too special there skin features pores 255 all right 170 30 dark circles you know i guess that matters at this point so let's go ahead and check out the rgb 23 30 50 there all right um, didn't I didn't mess with any of this to be honest, but you guys could copy this just in case it did Have an effect on the character and the way he looked so we have five here um, Eye color let's just go into that RB RGB I keep saying it backwards, but uh 25 8 3 uh, Don't want to do that 20 here this color here. I didn't mess with any of these but I don't, I don't know if this was a standard based off the template, but uh 46 46 46 all right 25 color here zero 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 30 color here 58 13 13 all right 110 and here this color is 101 61 48 all right so i didn't really mess with that but uh maybe that's important all right next we have the signature look the tattoo basically or the marking that he has he has a scar on his head on his forehead and i don't know it's, it's kind of crazy that they they had this because this is so close to the scar that he actually has on his head right so uh yeah five that's fire um the tattoo mark this color right here i actually did colorize this myself and right here we have 71 37 24 there all right eye patch nothing there nothing there right all right um and i think that's it for that section right there and this section is very important as well because it took me a while to to really try to get the physique you know the physique looking correct you know the match but that was tough as well so we have the head is 128 69 abdomen zero 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 right there all right body here i guess that's just black could be white if there is anybody here and muscular right so made him like very skinny very skinny but muscular at the same time which is how he looks all right and i believe that is it as far as that goes all right so not too bad it actually took me way more time to create it from scratch but um yes this is the head captain yamamoto build let's go over the stats at this point and the equipment let's go over the equipment first let's not skip over that and let's go over the talismans right this is very important right here so as far as the weapon we're using, we're using the Nabakiba, the Nabakiba. All right. And we have the Asha War Double Slash King, right? Giving us a 45 chance of blood loss buildup. Not the highest, but you'll see why we chose this soon enough. All right. As far as the seal, we're using the Dragon Communion Seal plus 10 max. All right. And as far as our gear, we're trying to keep this thing aesthetically as close as possible because it's, it just wouldn't be fun and it just wouldn't be as cool if we didn't look like the character, right? So it is what it is. Um, no mask, no shirt. And sometimes I like to put these uh, blood soap, you know, bandages on right here. But given that we're using this blue dancer charm talisman, and I guess we'll just skip right to that because it's important to the build. This lowers, well, the lower we have our equipped load, 
the more damage that we can do right so based on our equip low right here being like 14.2 which is like i feel like the lightest i can get this dude without being completely naked right um he's probably doing like a 1.1 to 1.4 x damage you know on top of his base damage right now so um yeah so the the less equipment we have the stronger he is really so that's kind of like in itself a crazy theme theme and buff right there right but um this is why we don't have any extra weapons because anything else would just make us heavier and it would reduce our damage all right so Rotten wing sword insignia greatly raises attack power with successive attacks we need that because that's the way we will be playing this build with a lot of attacks all right greatly boost the attack power of skills with the shard of alexander and you guys can just look up how to get these these talismans if you don't already have them um and lord of bloods uh, i don't even say that word exaltation exaltation right lord of bloods exaltation blood loss in vicinity increases attack power and yeah we'll be doing a lot of blood loss damage as we go through this build um now let's get to our status all right stats now you guys don't have to copy this i'm assuming everyone's currently around level 200 or 300 the game's been out for a while but um my vigor is 70 mind is 45 endurance is 35 strength is 74 dexterity is 99 intelligence is 10 clearly faith <laughs> 56 arcane 33 right now do you really need all of these stats exactly the way I have them to get this build to be optimized? No, right? And that's something I learned as I was playing and changing it and figuring it out, which I did a lot of times. I did quite a few rebirths for this particular build. And um, Vigor, you don't really need to have your Vigor this high. But the reason I have my Vigor on 70 is because, as you can see, we are running around with no gear on. So if we get hit with no gear on the way we are running around with like a low health bar and like what is it the uh the uh vitality defense or defense negation like if, if that's low our physical defense negation then we're just getting wiped out right all together but um i would recommend somewhere between 45 and 70 i guess where i have it right now 70 is just like i feel like i can fight on you know ng plus and um not die all right mind 45 that can be you know 40 if you you know if you need it to be it could be 35 it don't need to be it actually could be a little bit lower because um you don't really need to be casting too many spells but this build is based on the buffs that will be casting right like that's pretty much all we'll be doing is casting a lot of buffs all right to get our attack power up and the goal of this build is really to not get hit is really to just be wiping things out quickly as possible right so we we shouldn't be taking damage but just in case we are taking damage we do have our vigor at 70 currently um endurance 35 i would recommend that you guys have this a bit higher so during your attacks you are not running out of energy or running out of stamina and you can't complete maybe your second wave of attacks um with the double slash you might only get off that one full attack um you want to at least be able to get off two so you don't get stuck and you get caught you know swinging and then you can't swing again and follow up with the next attack which could actually end fights before you even get hit and die. Uh, our strength. Strength, we definitely do not need our strength on 74. This is a bit OP, but I wanted my base damage to be as high as possible. And if you got the points, use them. And you can probably get away with about 55 to 60 strength. And as you do your rebirth, after you do your rebirth, if you want to gain levels, then I would recommend putting those extra points into strength. But currently, I would put those points more so into arcane over strength. We'll just skip ahead a little bit because if you don't use those points on strength, you definitely want to use those points on your arcane. This will help our blood loss build up gauge, especially with this build, which is going to be ridiculous, using our incantation blood flame blade, right? All right, so our, arc our arcane, we want to have around at least the soft cap level, which is like 40 to 45, right? Um, I would recommend 45 minimum, uh, but 40 is good as well. As you can see, I have mine at 33, which I just started raising because I had all of my stats 
that I have here already and then I just started gaining levels and I pumped everything that I was gaining into Arcane. Didn't really think it was going to make too much of a difference but that blood loss gauge started building up way quicker right and I was just bleeding things very quickly so I can't wait to get this to 45 with my current stats with the 99 dexterity because I just want to be OP you know we're definitely past the soft cap but um 99 you could probably at 98 it maxes out basically right and 99 is just it's just unnecessary but intelligence 10 faith we don't need to have our faith this high so you can use these points in your dexterity or your strength or your arcane more so than faith the reason i have my faith so high is because first off i wanted to use black blade and i thought this build would really complement you know that's the incantation black blade but i haven't been using it you know i decided not to use it it doesn't really fit the theme of this build which is fire right um with head captain yamamoto it's just a blaze of fire you know he's just crazy with the with the fire incantations i guess right so faith you don't need to have this high um the minimum requirement for the black blade was 46 and i did want it to be strong as well so i went past the minimum requirement but you can use those points for your dexterity or arcane and maybe have your faith because you still need to cast some of these incantations that we have um you want to have your faith on at least maybe I don't know let's say the minimum requirement to use our current spell here which if we can find it let's see which spell is it that we're using we are using this spell here which the minimum requirement fate for this spell flame of the fell god is 41 right so maybe 41 if you want to use this spell which you'll see why it is pretty awesome and it's pretty important um to have also, we could have been using this. Sometimes I like to put this one on fire's daily sin because when I do that, then you know my character is just—he's on fire, like for real, like you know. They can't be anymore, but I decided not to use it because it's not as practical and it does take damage. There is a way to counteract it with a spell that raises your health, you know, gradually over time, and you know you can counteract the damage that you'll be taking from fire's daily sin. But um. I wanted to make this build as practical as possible when it comes to fighting and battling and this is how I decided this build needs to be, right? Alright, so for the incantation that we actually do have on here, uh, let's see, let's see, what is it, what is it? Alright, so we do have, uh, let me just look at it properly here so I don't get any of these names wrong. Yeah, I don't know why I went that way. Yeah. Right. What are we using? What are we using? So these are the incantations that we have currently. Flame of the Fell God. Definitely. I've been having fun with that. Flame grant me strength. Alright. And most important is Blood Flame Blade. Right. Most important one. We're going to come back to that one in a minute. And then we have our defensive ones. Uh, or is that it? I think that's all we have. Yeah. Alright. And I got this one on here. Golden Vial. But... I could have just looked at them right there. The names pop up right there, right? So, uh, Wrath of Gold. But um, that's like something I'm just working with. Golden Vile for sure, right? So, Golden Vile definitely is going to raise our attack power and our defense po uh, you know, ability negation as well. Which is going to help with the way we are running around here without any you know, gear on. So, this is going to help greatly. Always cast that before a fight. Um, let's go ahead and like maybe take this build out somewhere so you guys can see real quick. Uh, I don't even know where would I go. Where would I go? Um, where should we go? I mean, I always go over here just to like test things out, even though it's not like a whole lot of enemies, just one enemy who used to be a strong enemy, but we don't make him look like he's a strong enemy now. <laughs> All right, but um, Let's go see, and I'll tell you guys more about the Blood Flame Blade incantation that we're using. And why pumping your points into Arcane is a little bit more important than the Strength Gauge, right? But um, also why it's not the end-all be-all. But it does help. It does give it a boost. Sorry, this is what it looked like when I'm getting ready to gear up for a fight. I'll cast that first. Cast Blood Flame second, and I'll cast this one last because it's the shortest duration. It's the shortest amount 
time. And we run up on this guy here. And we do this. Alright. That should have did more damage. Now why didn't that do more damage, right? That is a very good question. Usually that does about 4k damage. Not sure why it's not doing more than that right now. Interesting. But um, anyway. So with the blood flame, I'll figure that out in a second. Let me, see, let me just double check, make sure everything is everything here. All right, yep, my weight is where it need to be. But all right, so the blood flame blade basically, with this incant incantation on, when we hit a person with this. The blood loss gauge builds up, but it doesn't. It doesn't only proc the enemy. It actually continues to go up, right? So you know when you get the blood loss gauge and you get proc with this one it you don't just get proc right with this incantation like the blood gauge actually continues to go up for a short duration of time so it gives you time to maybe dodge and then go back and hit the enemy again and if you do that with like succession if you do it quick enough like it's it's going to build up blood loss extremely fast right especially with your arcane being at a certain level so um yeah, you guys want to test that out for yourselves. But uh, let's see. I think I went over everything. This might be the most detailed video that I've done when it comes to a build. I tried to go over everything, man. I did have to do a, a voiceover for this one because it would have just been too much information. Um, there's other ways to use this build as well. Like I would, uh, if you guys would prefer to have a little bit more movement, you could have a few more weapons here. I would use something like the uh, use something like the uh, Uchi Katana with bloodhound step on it or i guess you can use it you know with uh anything else bloody slash or whatever um but we're keeping it to this fire theme right so let me just figure out why i'm not doing much damage as i thought i would be doing no more damage. did my damage get negated when i raise my arcane up increase my damage son Maybe because he's dying faster now. He's not even getting hit as many times. He's dying quicker. So I'm not doing as much damage. That's, I guess, strange. But uh, that is pretty much it for this video, guys, man. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys are going to build this one or make any tweaks, let me know what tweaks you are going to make. If you guys can think of any improvements as well, let me know what improvements you guys can think of. But, um, yeah, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about it. Peace.